I also want to do like a rent versus buy scenario. So using that five and a half percent average annual appreciation we talked about with rent nationally, they've seen a 3.7% average annual rent increase on a $300,000 home, 6% fixed rate, $10,000 down, your payment, including your principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, your total payment would be around $2,000 a month. So we're going to compare that to a rent of $2,000 a month and then extend that over a 10 year time frame. So if you rent, you'll be paying about $284,000 in rent over that 10 years. Your rent has gone up 40% during that time. Because remember that 3.7%, that's every year compounding, meaning that next 3.7% is off of the increased rent from the previous year. So your rent has gone up to 2774. If you were to buy, you'd be paying about $250,000. It's pretty close to the rent over the next 10 years. Your payments have gone up only 9% instead of 40%. Now you may ask, why is your payment going up if you have a fixed rate mortgage? It's because those other two parts of your mortgage, the taxes and insurance. Almost always, taxes and insurance are going to go up each year, but they generally don't go up nearly as much as your rent would each year. That's why you have an increased payment, almost 2200 bucks there. But over that 10 year period, you're saving yourself about $33,000 just in cash flow. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is where it gets really fun. During that 10 years, you paid down $47,000 of what you owe on that loan amount itself. But on top of that, your home has appreciated over $200,000 in value, meaning that you have generated over a quarter of a million in equity in the property. If you add that equity plus the cash flow savings, you've generated about $285,000 in wealth over renting. And that is pretty powerful. 